Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Well, here she is with all her pages um, created. <laughs> Not necessarily finished, but created. Um, I've made four signatures for her. And um, it's time to get them sorted out and bound in. Now, I also need to sort out the cover. So... Um, We've got a bit more space in there, so I'm going to have to cut the spine out of the existing cover and replace it with something else. Now, I'd like to keep as much of this inside cover as I can. Um, I'm going to have to cover up some of it, but yeah, we will do what we can. Um, my major issue here was um, this is a very big book and finding a... Um, piece that will be big enough to make such a um, tall spine was problematic <laughs> so I had some very sturdy cardboard box and I decided I would use that but I would also encase it in the um, the fabric tape that I have um, which will lend itself to making it a bit more sturdy again so that's what I've decided to use. So now I'm removing the spine. I will um, yeah, work out exactly how big I want my, um, my spine to be and we will work on getting that done. I will keep this spine um, yeah I'll incorporate it into the book in some fashion probably as a bookmark or a belly band something along those lines but uh, yeah I certainly won't be discarding it Okay, there we have it. Now this is the piece of cardboard I'm going to use. It's very stiff and sturdy. Um, it's quite thick, yeah, which I don't necessarily love, but um, yeah, it is very sturdy. And you see the ribs are running up and down. I find that is much more sturdy for a spine than when the ribs run across. So that's what I will be using as a spine. Now I just popped my signatures in between my covers and then just sort of gave it a rough line to um, work out sort of how big it had to be and then decided the size that I actually wanted it and trimmed it accordingly.
Okay, I spent a little time fine tuning that and um, here is the finished product. Now we will attach it to the spine with lots and lots of fabric tape. <laughs> this is very strong tape. I really enjoyed this tape for reinforcing spines and anything that has to be heavy duty. Um, yeah, this tape is not going to tear. Um, it's not going to let go or give up or yeah, anything else. It's just really good, strong tape. It is a bit shiny, which I don't love, but you know, <laughs> you can't have everything, I suppose. <laughs> so I am going to attach it to each side of the cover and then I will cover the entire rest of the spine that's exposed with another layer of tape. So she's good and strong. Right, um, that's our spine put in, and I'm very happy with that. Um, now the consideration begins, what am I going to cover this with? Um, because I'm not doing a hidden spine in this journal, I'm going to sew straight through that spine. Um, I need to work out what I'm going to cover it with and get all that sorted out before I sew my signatures. So that is the next question. What am I going to do? <laughs> and this is what I came up with. I remembered that I had this jacket. Um, this is a suede jacket that um, was damaged and I have had it in my stash for a, such a long time, a uh, couple of years. It's just been hanging um, on a hook in my sewing room and I thought, oh, that would be nice, <laughs> a bit special. So I am going to pull this apart and find a piece that works for me and make a cover for my spine with it.
Okay, that's enough fiddling around with the cover. I'm just going to stick that piece of um, suede down and um, basically that's all that I did there. So I'm going to move on now and just organise these signatures to be sewn in now that the cover's pretty much done. And uh, yeah, basically I'm just clipping them to hold them still right at the minute and I will sort out um, how we're going to stitch them in. Okay, here's your first peek at the cover now that I've finished it. Um, that ribbon at the top there and the bottom needs to be neatened up, but I'll worry about that later. Uh, you can notice I have put some um, covering over the spine on the inside as well. That's just a piece of painted paper. So um, I still had a couple of these lying around from my... Um, my paper weaving the other day which was quite handy because they were exactly the right width and pretty much the right length as well so I just trimmed that one up to be the right size and then went about sort of measuring up how I was going to um, fix the signatures in so we have four signatures um, I'm just making marks to where I will want them positioned in the spine and yeah then I will start putting holes in things. I like to keep my templates um, exactly the same from either end. That way if I accidentally put it upside down when I'm putting my holes in my signatures, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, you'll notice that I always do the same thing. I always measure my um, where I'm going to put my holes from either end so that they end up being exactly the same from either end. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about which is the top and which is the bottom for my um, my template. It just works whichever way I put it in.
As you can see, I decided to go with A5 whole pamphlet stitch for this particular journal. Um, yeah, it definitely needed more than a three hole pamphlet stitch, that's for sure. It's just such a big spine. So yeah, I just popped a couple of extra stitches in there. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I've used quite heavy duty twine to hold the signatures in so um, yeah I feel like it's going to be nice and secure. This was awkward um, <laughs> just because it's so big. Uh, trying to hold it and get my hand far enough into it to punch holes where I wanted it even to see far enough down to see where I wanted the holes was it was just very awkward um, I'm sure if you had a book cradle uh, it would probably be easier um, but yeah just bear with me <laughs> I get there um, I also have quite a bit of trouble sewing these signatures in so I'm going to skip through most of them the last one funnily enough went straight in no drama but um, all the others I had to you know basically sewing page by page it was a plurry nuisance so <laughs> but anyway I will show you my struggle for a little while and then um yeah I will just skip to the last signature because nobody wants to sit here and watch me do that it was also really hard to get this nice sturdy string through the spine so um I uh, resorted to going and getting my little pliers which made my life so very much easier. <laughs> As you can see, um, I know it's slightly off camera, but um, yeah, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, trying to get this um, this bottom hole of the signature um, sorted out. And it doesn't get any better from there on in. So <laughs> I'll skip through the next few and uh, yeah, meet you again at the end. Okay, this one is a little less painful to witness, so uh, I thought I would leave it in just in case you want to watch me sewing a full signature, just because. Um, and as it was getting to me late afternoon at this stage, you can see the sun has dropped below my roof line and is shining right in my window over my shoulder um, onto the page. So yeah, that is what the weird lighting is all about. So. I hope it's not too distracting.
She's finally together. All sewn in and secured. The spine um, it's nice and sturdy. Nothing seems to be um, weak or wishy-washy or floppy going on. Quick flip through. This is actually a envelope that's part of the page. Um, I'll just flip through and show you each page now that it's all bound together. And next time, I guess we'll start popping pockets in and embellishing and doing whatever else we want to do with it. I'm not really sure at this point. But yeah, it's certainly a nice junky sort of journal. There's all sorts going on. Um, there is quite a lot of writing space, although it looks quite sort of decorative, I guess. Um, there is a lot of space where you could write. Um, but in the same vein, you could always just pop a bit of blank paper over a picture if you don't have a delight the picture or the pattern or you know whatever paper's there. It's easy enough to just stick a piece of paper over the top because, well... That's how this whole journal's put together, so <laughs> it's not like it'll look odd. There's another one of those envelopes made into a page. I put a couple of book covers in here just for some extra sort of tuck space as pockets. There's certainly a lot going on. There's another couple of smaller envelopes built into a page. I liked the idea of making the pages out of the envelopes. Um, yeah, it's just something a bit different. So yeah, she's certainly a very big journal with a lot going on. <laughs> That said, we are almost at the end, so thanks so much for coming along today. Um, it's been really good spending some time with you. I hope you like our journal so far. I'll see you again next time. Bye.